What's up guys, this is Showtime for Showtime Shredded Fitness over here. Size, growth, get big, alright. Well, I was very proud of uh, the Bears and the Colts both. Like I said, I've got I've got friends who play on the uh, on the Bears. And very, very proud of my son Clef. Um, I do feel a little bit bad you know, been watching these, some of these videos. I kind of snapped a little bit. Um, forgot. I got... Uh, so so focused on uh, on everything was getting pissed off because we were down that uh, I was I was a little bit uh, kind of like one of these dads that I tell you all not to be right not not get too emotional um, take things too serious because there's little kids and this and that I, I don't know somewhere that shifted we were down like nine, 18 to six 13 to six 18 to six somewhere in there and I uh, got uh, so I got real pissed off. And I'm not supposed to do that, but and I told myself I'm gonna stay professional. I'm not gonna get emotional about anything, you know. And uh, that didn't happen. So um, apologize if I kind of seem kind of like a jackass, right? Because this, this camera is close, so you know it makes me sound a lot more, the, you know, worse than I really am, right? Because it's it's right it's right here. I'm yelling out there, you know. So uh, but so some of the some of the uh, some of these I'm going to post at a later time, or maybe even delete. Um, in the beginning, I'm going to post most of them with no sound, just because it, uh, taken out of context, sounds real bad. So, you know, I threw my, I threw my hat like three times. I threw the camera once, um, you know, that's on my phone. So I threw my phone, you know, and uh, you really should be doing that. And like the little kids, right? But you forget sometimes you get caught up. You want your kids to be successful. Um, you get caught up in the game. You know, you start to think you're playing yourself, and uh, and that's kind of where, you know, I usually do well in sports. So, you know, I did pull Cliff aside, and some of the kids would hear me, you know, and tell them to get pissed off and use that. that it didn't come up on film. I had the camera off when I talked to him. Uh, I told him how to, you know, use that anger and rage, right, to hit somebody, anybody, whether they got the ball or not, and stuff like that. And a couple of the kids on the team kind of were overhearing that and kind of, Kind of thought that was kind of funny. They kind of liked it a little bit, um, you know, funny in a good way. Like it makes sense, right? So you know, maybe, you know, maybe a pissed off helped the kids a little bit. Hopefully, right? Because obviously I wasn't mad at them, you know, obviously. But uh, you know, again, you know, what I'm saying, I make them pay for it. And this, 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 that, that coach from the other team was yelling that kind of shit, and then I just spun off and yelled back, right? So it kind of Anyways, so great game, great game, great day of football for all the Colts, right? Uh, one of the Bears teams is going to the Super Bowl, and uh, the uh, the Colts, we have four squads of them this year, all of them went to the semifinals, every single one of them, and all of them are going to the Super Bowl, every single one of them, including my boy and his team. And we actually had the worst record of all the Colts. We had two losses. And everybody else, we wiped off the clock. And that turned the scoreboard off. Um, it got so bad. We were so far ahead of all the other teams, except for the Coyotes and the and the Bears. They both beat us. And uh, then today, the semis, uh, we were able to come back and win the game. Uh, we had some, we had some blessings. We had some, you know, some good luck. We had some bad luck in the beginning. We had some good luck towards the end. Um, but you know, we get to go to the Super Bowl. And that's that's the main thing. Trying to get some uh, some redemption from from when we lost to the the Coyotes the first time in a game that could win either way. And it'd be kind of nice to maybe see if they'll humble them a little bit to take a loss if we can beat them. Um, see what happens. The uh, the games were all great. So we had two losses. There was another squad that had one loss, and the other ones went undefeated. That's how uh, that's how successful this Colts program is, especially this year. And they've been successful every year, right? And, uh, and so hopefully we'll have some Super Bowl wins next weekend, next Sunday, and that'll be pretty fun. But uh, that's about it. So hopefully, you know, like I said, I've got so caught up at the moment, so so pissed off and uh, and uh, and fired up that uh, I forgot my my son's. Uh, I mean, my my son had friends on the other team, and that. That my buddy had friends on that team, and I'm just going after listening back to some of these tapes. I'm just going, God dang, shut up, shut up, Showtime. You, 
you know, you know, come up the wrong way, the wrong impression. Um, but uh, no, that, that, that kind of intensity and comp competition, I think, builds character. You know, especially when we're kind of getting too swift on our kids nowadays, and and uh, just as a society in general, you know, there's where it's at, where we can still, you know, teach boys to be men. You know, we're trying to swift it, swiften everybody up and make women man up, and we're trying to make uh, we're trying to make men, you know, have start looking around with women with, like women with penises, and it's bullshit. You know, there's men and women have different characteristics for different reasons. I know this for a fact because my test when my estrogen level is way up in the air, my my attitude and my um, my demeanor and everything is way different than when my testosterone is way up here. So there's, there's certain reasons that men and women act and feel and and, and do things differently. So there's a reason for that. Nowadays, and this, for some reason, everything's excusable when a woman does it because she's a woman, and then and the, the, then a man is like he shouldn't be doing that. Anymore natural thing to do and it just kind of it just kind of uh it's kind of demasculinizing uh men nowadays i think um and uh i don't live by those rules i don't live by those codes i'm old school and i believe that the woman if she wants to work let her work she wants to stay at home be a stay at home mom let her not work right i think women should have all those equal rights and everything else you know but at the same time you know i'm old school i think man should be a man right and there's certain things that I managed to do and not do and whatever, you know. Not, uh, we got all this PC bullshit nowadays. But anyways, now we got more football coming up. We got NFL football today. So we're going to do that. Alright, so first, I'm going to put my shirt on, right? So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Put this shirt on. So the shirt, it's on now, right? The shirt is on. And uh, now the reason that my abs stay, still seem through the shirt a little bit, right? But uh, boundless knee injury, I have to be honest, I've been a little bit, uh, a little bit lazy when it comes to uh, with the abs, right? And uh, just get back into all that stuff. So uh, anyways, go Hawks. And great job, Colts. Congratulations to all the squads and all the teams. Did awesome this year. Congratulations to all you kids and parents and coaches. Uh, it was a very successful season. We've only got one game left now for those of the athletes that are still in it. And that's the Super Bowl. And, uh, and then it'll be over over for everybody, right? So congrats again. And... Uh, Take care and God bless. We really want to shout out to um, coaches, Cliff's coaches, Jeff Boyes, Jason Waitman. I hope I pronounced that. I think I butchered it. Jason, Jeff, and uh, you know those guys did a great job with the kids this year. So very, very happy with them, and uh, they uh, learned a lot and uh, had a very successful three years. So we got the Colts one more time. First time we met him in the Super Bowl, Cliff got the ball on the two-yard line, okay? And the uh, next play we fumbled. This was the last couple seconds of the game, and the Coyotes won, okay? Had we not fumbled the ball, we would have got that ball in the end zone, we'd have beaten them, right? So, lost that game. And then the next year, played the Coyotes again, but this time in the semifinals, not the finals. Lost again, okay? So, we're 0-2 in the playoffs against Coyotes. So this year would be nice to actually win the Super Bowl. So, keep the fingers crossed over here. And, uh, again, good job to everybody, and good luck to everybody in the Super Bowl. Size, growth, get big. All right. Go Hawks.